It is, uh, this is Friday, it is December 11th, and we're starting out here in the annex. We've got a lot to get through for today's close-up. Um, as you saw from the title, um, today is Shire's last day at the Academy. Last full day, he'll be getting picked up by his adopters tomorrow morning before mailbag, uh, before or uh, maybe right around the time mailbag usually starts. That's when we're scheduled, so mailbag may be just a minute delayed, but the way that we do the adoptions now, uh, our involvement is actually pretty minimal. All we have to do is get Shire and put him in a carrier and hand him out the door. So uh, even if they show up during mailbag, it won't be too much of an interruption. We're still planning on doing mailbag just like usual, um, and we just might have to get up for a minute during it. That's all. Uh, all these kids started nursing when I sat came in, actually. Uh, they were running around really good earlier this morning. Um, but we're going to be uh, picking them up in just a minute, so we'll disturb all of this. We're going to be getting some weights together. Then after we do the weigh-in for these kittens, I'm actually planning on seeing if their mom wants to run out the door. I'm hoping that we can get just a minute of her next to some faculty so you can see how small she is. I posted some pictures, but I don't even think the pictures do it justice, and I'm hoping that the video uh, will do it. Uh, so we will see about that. Uh, then, of course, we are going to uh, make it a point to go see Shire and get his goodbye wave towards the end of uh, this close-up stream. And I think uh, I think we pretty much, we got to get moving on this because that is a lot for me to try to cover in one little close-up, especially when I'm tired. I haven't even finished my first coffee yet. It's around here somewhere. I'd probably have a better idea exactly where if I'd had more coffee. It's ironic. Um, so, let's get the scale going. Here we go, right here. Uh, maybe? Oh, wrong button. Whew, man. Hello. All right, we got this. We got this. Uh, so, first off, uh, let me tell you about these kittens are so sweet. Yesterday I came in here and I sat down in the beanbag chair and uh, they all came up for a little snuggle and a couple of them actually took a nap right with me. And it was so wonderful. They are just turning into little lap kittens who love their human beings. And it, they, are, they are so, so sweet. And of course, they're crazy playful and you can't keep them down. And they're still pooping all around the room. Not quite all peeing in the right spot either, but we're working on it. We are definitely working on that every way that we can. And a lot of classes take a few weeks to get the poop and pee stuff all sorted out. So this is our little girl, Saffron. Saffron weighs 17.8 ounces today. Good. Oh, I should also mention they've all been eating from the food dish, too. Uh, I know they're all nursing right now, but they've all started doing it. Even Champ is getting really good at it now. So the food situation we finally have got, I feel like, a, a real good handle on. And I know the litter situation can't be too far behind. Uh, oh, let's see it. So MacNut is number two. Let's take a look at MacNut. Here we go. This is a little Mac Nut, Macadamia Nut. Hey, Mac Nut. He's the one that snuggled the most yesterday. Oh, he was tired though. Mac Nut today weighs 18. Point, we're going to give him 8, 18.8 .8 ounces. There we go. Okay, well, he climbed off of there on his own, so now we can get Champ. Champ, I know, I know, buddy. Let's give it a break. Come with me. You got food on your nose even to prove that you've been eating. That's pretty good, buddy. All right, so there's Champ. He's the one that took the longest to start eating regular food, but like I said, he is doing it now like a champ and weighs 18.1 ounces to show for it. So that all sounds pretty good to me. All right. And then finally, we've got Caviar, who obviously has been eating the most all along and really has the belly and weight to show for it. Look at that belly on this boy. That's caviar. Caviar, sit right there for one second. And you weigh, whoa, 22.4 ounces. Caviar, you are going to be a giant cat. That is ridiculous. All right. Well, that's these kittens. Mom's still in nursing mode, so we may have to do that getting her to get up and follow us around the house thing later on. 
or she might decide to do it just because we get up. She also was very snuggly yesterday. Oh, so uh, I can tell you a little bit about her going around the house yesterday because she did go around the house yesterday. And what I have seen so far is that she doesn't seem to mind or anybody at all, uh, even when the other cats hiss at her sometimes or, um, uh, you know, take a swing or whatever. She just walks away. She's, she's just very, very calm about all of it, which is wonderful. Uh, doesn't, doesn't get too agitated about almost anything. There was one moment yesterday when she did show that she knows how to get a little agitated. It was when everybody was eating treats together, and they were all doing really well. And then Maggie moved in to try to steal one of the treats from Truffle. And when Maggie made that move to steal the treat, Truffle hissed at her and took a swat. Uh, but that was it. There was no hard feelings. Just one hiss, one swat. Maggie bought back right off, and then that was it. It was done. Uh, there was no pursuit. There was no additional anger after that. Maggie would come right up to her when there were no treats to steal, and that was fine, too. So I think she's a very even-handed uh, mom who, who really knows how to deal with stuff, and that's great. Um, Ari hisses at her quite a bit. Ari always does this with new cats. He always starts out with a hiss uh, a few times before he starts to come around to maybe hang out with them without hissing. So that's exactly what we expect, and she doesn't respond to that in any negative way. <clears throat> and then uh, she has seen Tilly and her kittens just a little bit, and Tilly hisses at her a lot, just like Tilly did with Custard. I think Tilly is a little cautious about new cats. She recognizes when one is new, and she wants to make sure that they know to stay away. I don't get the impression that Tilly's going to start a fight. I think she just wants him to be like, hey, you keep out, keep away. This is my area, my kittens. You stay back. Um... Which, uh, for Truffle's part, Truffle doesn't seem to necessarily get that, that message that she needs to stay back, but she also doesn't really seem to care about the, uh, the hisses too much, and she's not looking for a fight. She just kind of wants to go around and do her own thing. Um, the kittens also, uh, Truff, no, Tilly's kittens have also hissed at her a little bit here and there, and she also just has a mind. So I feel like um, with just a tiny bit of work, she would probably get along just fine with everybody all the time. Uh, mostly, though, when she goes out and is wandering around the house, she's not there uh, to meet the other cats, and she's not even really there to explore. It seems like she mostly wants to hang around me and look for treats and food. Um, mostly. She, she does, still does the exploration and the meeting the other cats and stuff, but it seems like her, her goal is those things. And she does want to come out right now, so I guess we're going to try it. Hmm. Hang on, I'm finishing that entire cup of coffee right there. Okay, so let's let her do it. She, she by the way, has become a door runner. She knows that this is the way out to the rest of the house. And very often now, when I open the door, she is she zooms across the room to run out the door as fast as she possibly can. So that's a fun trick um, that we may have to keep an eye on. And that is why Tilbury, can you can you see Tilbury down there? Can I zoom in on this? Tilbury is uh, in her room right now. Look at her. She's staring right at us from all the way down there. Um, so Tilbury's closed in her room right now because I knew we were going to do this, and I didn't want Tilbury and her kittens out for this. But uh, we will let them out, of course, as soon as Truffle is put away. And we'll put Truffle away as soon as we're done filming her walking around, whether she's done yet or not. We'll let her out again later on. Uh, but the reason that we will do that is I don't have to worry about whether she's going to get up to anything if we go into Truffle, Tilbury's room. Easy for me. i got two teenage mom cats, so that's tricky. She'll, see, she's, she's wandering around, but mostly she's looking at me. She's like, why are we just standing here? I thought you were going to go do something and I could follow you. Yeah, well, I guess we could go do something. I hear Custard's jingle bell. Custard's not the best choice, although he is the, the most fun to see next to her. Custard, come on up here, buddy. Come here so this mom cat can see you. What are we doing, buddy? Come on. You are the biggest size difference because you're the biggest cat in the house. Maggie looks about as big as you, but she's not. Truffle, are you going to come down here or are you just going to stick your head through the bars? Yeah, I thought you might. Oh, oh, that's not really seeing them together too well. Well, a little bit. Now you can get the idea, don't you? 
Custard's got his ears forward in a, in a way that is a little too, um, too forward, really. So we've got to keep an eye on him to make sure that he doesn't decide to growl or swat or try to wrestle with her. I know he would be trying to play, but that's not appropriate for, for her. Not the first thing that we want her to experience. So she really does look like a kitten, though. She's only five and a half pounds. She is a very, very small, fully grown cat. But I think she's healthy at that five and a half pounds. Some cats are small, and she's just one of them that is going to be a very, very small cat her whole life. And as you saw with that interaction with Custard, she's very uh, good about other cats. She doesn't pay them too much mind. Um, she doesn't get angry at them or fixated. She's just doing her own thing. And that's exactly what we like. Isn't it? Hey, yes, she wants to rub on everything, too. She's, she's one of those cats that just loves to, to rub on all the stuff and leave her little smell everywhere. Maggie's there looking now, too, and Custard, you see, all the way in the back there. Uh, they have all interacted before, so I'm not too worried about it. There she is rubbing on stuff. All the stuff, I know, that's your move. Is Maggie going to come in here? Where'd you go, Mags? Oh, oh, there, there Maggie went. Hi, Maggie. You got some windows to climb today? Maggie's signature move is running across the entire house at full speed, galloping across the entire house, and then at the end, running straight up a window. Uh, all of our screens on the windows, well, not all of them, no, just the ones in the sunroom here. The, at the old house, all the screens were on the inside. At this house, the ones in the sunroom were on the inside. Maggie knows that. She'll run into the sunroom and run straight up a window and just cling on to it. Or uh, she also does it on the, the sliding door in the living room here. You might be able to see in a minute if that's the direction we're going. You also might get to see Tilly hissing through the door. This is the screen door I'm talking about. Uh, you might get to see Tilly hissing through the door. Here she comes. Are you going to hiss at this girl? She still does hiss at her every time she sees her. She just wants her to stay back. She's like, please let me out. Oh. There's Shire climbing on her. Okay, we'll get to you kids in a minute, and you'll all be able to come out. We're just doing one thing at a time here, okay? I get the impression that she would really like to go outside. What's the temperature out there today? 37 degrees. That's pretty cold. Do we want to see if she'll go out, though, if we just open it for an instant? Why not, right? We've got a couple minutes. The worst thing that'll happen is she'll decide to go out there, and I'll have to, I'll have to just coax her to come back in. She was really looking at it yesterday, though, like she wanted to figure out how it worked and couldn't get the door open. Now what? Custard came around at the same time. Yeah. Uh, I do get the impression there's a few reasons to believe that she has been an outdoor cat quite a bit. One of those reasons is that, of course, she came to the animal shelter as an outdoor cat, not as an owner relinquish. Also, uh, yeah, as a, yeah, I should say as a, you know, one that was caught by animal control, um, so, uh, also, you know, that she came in pregnant. Um, yeah, so clearly she's been outdoors and around other cats. Um, and then uh, there's a couple other reasons, too. Uh, she's got some a couple old injuries that we've discovered that, that probably mean that she's been out and uh, had her share of adventures in her time. We don't need to get into that, but uh, she's fine now, of course. She's this, this you can find evidence of history. So, there we go. She does want to go out and have a look around. Hi. <sighs> She's looking back at me like, is this okay? It's okay. You're not going to go too far. Custard, you should stay in here because you don't need to go out there and start trouble with her in a zone that's hard for me to get to. That wouldn't be good for any of us. I'm just going to prop this little door open for a second. There we go. Now she can get 
back in easily. Let's see if she does. Come on in. Come on back in. There you go. You had your sniff around. Okay, that was perfect. That was a perfect time. I thought you wanted to see that, but it's cold out there now, isn't it? That's not what you're used to. She's a southern kitty. I forget, is she from uh, Georgia? Or did she come to us from West Virginia? I know one of you guys probably knows from when I've mentioned it before. I've also got her paperwork upstairs. I think, I think she was a Georgia kitty. Yes, okay, confirmed. We'll stake that as confirmed, Georgia. That was right. That's what I thought. We got uh, um, Cupy over there doing the shaka shaka on the door. You can see that probably just a little bit. Maggie's put herself in the tunnel. Okay, let's put her up and visit with the big kittens for a little bit, and she can come back out again later, like I said, but I don't want to have her out running around while we're either visiting with the big cats or especially while they're out running around right now. So you can come with me. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, hang on. There we go. She actually seems to really enjoy being held uh, properly and carried around and petted. Although I'm not holding her the way that she prefers right now. She likes to, if you just give her your arm to sit on is her favorite. But she'll put up with the other ways too. Like if when I hold her like a little baby, she'll deal with that pretty well. Um, right now I'm just holding her like a football. Not her favorite. And then she's very easy going. And she's going to want to run right straight back out the door. But you can wait, kiddo. Oh, and there's MacNut yelling he is he's a big yeller now too uh but uh caviar all of them are, are big shouters which is really cute typically when i go in the room they just want to yell and yell and yell and follow me around and try to climb my leg and get my attention and it is the sweetest thing okay here we go okay so here is tilly and there's Clyde, and we're opening the door for the first time this morning. You're Shire. Hi, buddy. You're glad to see me, aren't you? Yeah. It smells bad in here. I don't remember if I emptied their litter box when I got their food in there. I feel like I should have. That's part of the routine. I could do it again, though. Okay, we're just going to prop these doors open real quick. Hi, Tilly. And then... See what the kids are getting up to with their first freedom of the day. I almost just left them out all night because I think I think they're ready for it, and they, I could probably have left them out all night with no trouble. But then at the last minute, literally the last minute, like 2 a.m., uh, right before I went to sleep, I thought, okay, let's put them up in their room for the rest of the night. It's not even that long, uh, just to be safe. So that's what we did. Hi, Shire, you're right on me. You don't even know that this is a special stream about you, but you're a sweetheart. So uh, Shire's adopters, like I said, they'll be picking him up tomorrow, uh, right before mailbag, or maybe during, um, and that's fine too. And uh, I didn't ask if they're going to keep his name. They didn't say they were going to change it. Of course, uh, most of the people who adopt the kittens from Kitten Academy keep the Kitten Academy names, but not all. Certainly not a requirement, and we don't mind. I've almost forgotten Banter's name was Banter, now that she's such a Penelope Olivia, or Penny Olive. Um, so they renamed her very successfully. Uh, and there's been a few like that. Hi, Shire. So uh, there is a tradition that we normally do with the kittens, which is the morning of their adoption. Um, we usually get them waving goodbye, uh, usually right before they go. But things are different right now uh, for a lot of reasons, as you know. So what we've been doing is getting them to wave goodbye in a close-up before their adoption. That would be this close-up, the last one that Shire is going to be part of. So... We are going to get a goodbye wave from him. I've already got the tripod on the camera. And then uh, tomorrow, we will not be seeing his adopters on the stream. I know it's been a long time. I, probably quite a few of you have never even seen that happen. But the way we used to do it, and someday will again, is when the adopters arrive, they would come into the kitten room and hang out with their kitten for a while, and we get things together, and we 
we all hang out for a little while and we chat with them and et cetera, et cetera, um, which has not been the way we've been doing it for most of the last year. Hi, Eddie. Instead, what happens now is they come to the front door and give us a carrier, load up all of the endowments, and we give them the kitten back in the carrier and they take off. It's very brief. It only takes a few seconds. In a way, that's nice. Uh, you know, it is, it is nice to, to know that um, it is going to be so quick and that it makes it a little bit easier, frankly, emotionally speaking, to just have a quick goodbye. Um, but uh, obviously the other way is, is a lot more interesting for everybody. And we do greatly love all of the adopters. And it's nice to be able to spend that little bit of time with them in person since that's such a rare thing. Uh, so anyway, that's the way it's going to go tomorrow is uh, we're just going to hand him off, really. And it's going to be real quick. And none of that will be on stream. So this is his goodbye for all of you, even though you'll be able to see him on the Kitten Academy live stream for most of the day, some of the day, depending on how much time he spends hanging around the cameras. He's gonna wrestle Eddie, isn't he? He loves to wrestle all the other cats, all the faculty. Eddie's kind of a, a, a rare one to get though. Yeah, cause he's either gonna run away or not even be there in the first place. All right. Let's see if we can get this uh, goodbye wave thing done. Hang on. I'm gonna flip this around to the front camera so I can see what we're doing a little bit. Morgie, no, that's Clyde. It's gonna operate the camera apparently. Let's not do that, Clyde. Let's just let us get our video real quick. Okay. Let's say goodbye, Shire. Good job at the Academy, buddy. You are a real winner. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. That was it. That was pretty good. We can stop right there. He's like, what was that? Can we do it again? Maggie just zoomed in. Maggie's going to miss this class a lot too, especially Shire. They wrestle quite a bit. Um, so I think everybody's going to miss him though. He is the biggest faculty wrestler in the group. I think they're going to miss having him here to play with. He does have another cat at his new house that he's going to be living with. And uh, when I was handing out the endowments, so, uh, you know, everybody sends in stuff for mailbag, which, by the way, mailbag tomorrow at 10 a.m., you'll get to see it in person. Um, everybody, everybody, lots of people send in a lot of things for the cats and kittens for our mailbag segment. And that's the point of it. Um, we always encourage people just to send things for the cats and kittens. And then uh, they all get sorted out into the endowments for each kitten, which I did this week. Uh, and there's a lot of stuff. You guys were so generous. And it's so fun to go through and sort the endowments because then we see all the things for the past several weeks of mailbag that have been sent that are so wonderful for these cats and kittens. Um, like those lovely, lovely gift bags uh, for each kitten that have the little metal horseshoe on the bag and their little names and stuff. I thought that was really cute when I was going through that st stuck out quite a bit. Um, and the, you know, the custom, the blankets and all the fun stuff that was sent especially for them. Uh, the little rainbow hearts from Lena. And I, I don't want to mention uh, people and stuff specifically too much because I know somebody's going to feel left out because there's just too much. Anyway, my point was, uh, there's also usually a bunch of things that are sort of discretionary. People send them and they're like, do whatever you want with it. Or, uh, you know, they send them and they're generically like, this is sort of for endowments, um, but they're not specific about who it goes to and there's not enough to give one to every kitten. And as I was, uh, in general, my rule is, if you adopt two kittens, like uh, Clyde and Morgan are going together, then we throw in a little bit of extra stuff that way because that's so special. Or if you adopt a mom cat, I like to sort of try to throw in a little bit of extra stuff there because that's so special. Um, and in Shire's case, I tried to also take care to throw in a little bit of extra stuff to keep him busy, knowing that he's got another cat to hang out with and that he can be a real wrestler. So I was hoping that, uh, that throwing in a couple extra like electronic toys that we've had sitting around for Shire would be... A good thing to keep him busy. I also threw in one of the cactus beds because I do like to send things 
um, that that have been used here that they are familiar with. So they have at least a little something familiar to go home with. So uh, he got one of those cactus beds that they started in that they really haven't cared about since then, but it still smells like here. So that's good. Uh, sort of like, uh, the, not, not the one that's like this one, the one that's the other style with the arms sticking up is the one I threw in for him. But they'll probably each get a cactus bed because there were a lot of them. And then uh, if you guys, if you think of anything in the next 24 hours that was really specifically Shire's deal, um, let me know. And I'll, I'm usually will toss it into the endowments. Of course, I can't put in Maggie or one of the other faculty for him to wrestle with. I know that would be the first suggestion for, for things to throw in with Shire. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, these came in the last mailbag. They're donut um, uh, ball tracks. And you can see that it, from the right angle, it looks like a glazed donut. Like the donut would be blue, and then there's the, the green sort of glazing on top. I don't know, if, actually, if they're entirely intended to be donuts, but the rest of the thing was donut themed, and they really do look that way if you look at them right, especially the other one that's got the pink, the traditional pink glaze on it. Um, now, my point, uh, my point was, I don't know why they're, they're so popular with these kittens. They just love them still. You've got tons of different kinds of ball tracks. Yeah, this yeah when 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 Shire took down custard, uh, that I think that was um, it was when Tilly came up and distracted custard, and then Shire ran in and took advantage and just knocked him down. Uh, that was fun. Of course, I, I don't know if everybody who's seen that GIF knows that right before that they were just plain old wrestling with each other, and custard was probably winning. But then when mom came in, custard sort of froze up and Shire took advantage to, to really knock him down. It was fun. Um, but there's been tons of that all over. I think, in fact, there's GIFs on our Discord of Shire taking down everybody, especially his mom. Uh, they just, they wrestle a ton. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, he's, he's taken down, I think, all the faculty at some point with the possible exception of Eddie and, of course, Smokey. Nobody takes down Smokey. Um, but I'm sure Shire has taken down... Uh, uh, Ari and uh, Logan and Custard and Maggie, plenty of times. Hi, Morgie. Here's some little Morgan. She's recovering quite well, too, from her surgery that she had. Shire, of course, completely recovered. And uh, Brumby is also doing quite well. She's snuggled up right here in my lap right now. Oh, oh, that reminds me. The other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about during today's stream, um, which is that I did not spend all day yesterday playing video games and not streaming, uh, even though that was my plan. What I actually did for the majority of the day was edit photos of these kittens and of the other kittens. Um, I was way behind on, oh, 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 sorry, QP is grabbing the camera and is going to probably ban somebody from the chat or something. Um, hang on, now, I, now I'm all scrolled back. Okay, uh, anyway, uh, I was editing photos yesterday. I did, uh, I spent the majority of my day yesterday editing photos, and we've got a photo shoot, the graduation photo shoot for these kittens was part of that, and it's almost entirely edited. I quit right at the end. I've still got a few more to do, which I'll probably do this morning. And then um, on top of that, we've got two different photo shoots for uh, the kittens upstairs for Truffle's little kids, including the one, the photo shoot that took place just after all their eyes were open, and then a photo shoot that we did just the other day that's up to date. And I think the plan is that I'm going to publish their photos first today. Uh, today on our website, I will publish... Um, truffles, kids, updated photos and photo shoots, and they're cute. Um, they're very cute kittens, and they're very cute photos, and there's a few candid shots in there that are also good. And so those will get published today on our website, which is kitten.academy. And then uh, sometime, probably next week, I will publish the graduation photos for this class. And it's not because I need that extra time to edit, but just because I don't like to publish, you know, one right on top of the other or together. I like them each to be able to have their own blog post. 
So, uh, so today, I, I promise today, I will publish the photos of uh, the kids upstairs, and then next week, probably, I will publish the graduation photos of these kids, and there's some real winners in there. As I said, I, I did post a couple on our Twitter already, by the way. So um, if you are on our Twitter, you probably got to see a few of them, but there's a lot. There's a, there's a couple hundred that are being published uh, all together, and so th that's quite a few. Um, I was going to say something else about them, but now it's... Oh, I was saying that these kittens, I, I, I predicted this earlier, they are all real big fans of that feather toy that I like to use to get the kitten's attention when I do a photo shoot, and because they're such big fans of it, I knew we were going to have an opportunity to get really good photos. And I think we did, although I feel like for some of the action shots, my, uh, my shutter speed was set just a little low, so the photos aren't quite as crisp as I usually like. Nonetheless, uh, there's just a lot of really good stuff in there, and I think you are going to enjoy them quite a bit when the graduation photos come out next week. Um, but that's, that's next week. This week we've got Truffles Kids, and those are just great photos, too, and you're going to enjoy those. So, hi, Brumby. I see you looking at me because I'm talking, and you want to know what I'm saying. What is he saying? Sweet little Brumbles. Oh, uh, we did arrange the adoption dates for all of these kids. So although Shire's going first tomorrow, uh, let's see, most of the others are going on the 19th. And that will be, uh, as I mentioned, little Morgan and her brother Clyde, who's got his head in the cheese, are being adopted together. They're going to make a great pair, and they are going on the 19th. Also little Brumby here, I believe, is going on the 19th. Um, and then that leaves Mom and QP, who, uh, <laughs> QP, by the way, has a zip tie, and she is going to growl about it. Did you hear that? Um, she likes to growl when she finds a toy that she really likes, whether there's anybody trying to get it from her or not. Uh, so QP is going to get adopted, I believe right now the date is set as the 26th of December, which is actually the earliest she could go after her surgery. And then their mom, Tilbury, uh, is going to get adopted sometime in January. We don't know exactly when, um, but sometime in January. So that's all arranged. Oh, she was just growling again, but I don't think we're getting it on the mic. That's all right. It's really cute. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's the schedule for everybody. So Shire this weekend, um, almost everybody else on the 19th, and then uh, QP and her mom, uh, QP on the 26th, mom sometime in January. That's the plan. Also, uh, the Q, not QP, yes, QP, mom, and um, Clyde are all going to get their surgery on the 16th. And um, that is also going to be the first day that the kids upstairs go to the vet. The Truffles kids are all going to go to the vet also on the 16th and get their vaccines. So I hope that uh, makes sense to everybody. I can see now also that we are way over time on this little close-up stream. And yes, I don't know why everybody's talking about the fireplace, but it is broken. I spent a lot of time and effort getting it to work last winter, and it worked all winter, and we enjoyed it quite a bit. This winter, I can't get the, the gas flowing correctly into it, and uh, it, uh, you, the pilot won't stay on, and... Um, it's just, I don't even know if we're going to fix it again, because one thing that kept happening was everybody that has seen it last year, all the, the professionals kept saying this thing is ancient, and if we get it working at all, it will be a miracle, and basically just telling me it wasn't worth it. Um, so now I'm hesitant to even call them, because if I do call somebody to come in and try to fix it, they're going to be like, what are you doing? Just forget it. Um, and buy a new one. And, I, you know, I'm not prepared to, to really do that, so... Uh, anyway, 
Uh, that's neither here nor there. I don't think we're missing it too much. The only one that, that really wanted that fireplace going in the first place is DJ, and she's not been uh, hanging out too often lately because she's very, very busy with work. So it's all good. I don't know why I got off on that tangent. Actually, I do. Somebody was talking about it, so that's why. Uh, but we're, we need to wrap it up here. We've gone on long enough, and I want to say uh, thank you so much for joining me today. I think we got through everything that we intended to do as part of this close-up, which amazes me because there was a lot of it. I hope it was cute enough, and we will do another close-up on Sunday. We don't typically do a close-up like this on Saturdays because we're doing mailbag, which will be tomorrow at or very near to 10 o'clock, depending on exactly when Shire's adopters arrive. Um, but plan on it tomorrow, 10 o'clock, mailbag on the regular Kitten Academy live stream, and then close-up next, uh, next close-up will be Sunday. So there you have it. Thanks again, and I will see all of you later on.